So, so you want me to be very nice to him? Yes, I want you to be very nice to him because <laughs> he needs a lot of help. <laughs> At the peak of his notoriety, Callum Von Moger was one of the poster boys in the fitness community. He had gained success on social media, won plenty of competitions, and had enough success in business to fund his emigration to America. But life is never this easy. Cal would face many challenges, injuries, and carry burdens which you wouldn't wish on your worst enemy. This is his origin story, the tale of his unfortunate downfall, and the account of his retribution and return to fitness and health. This is the rise, fall, and rebirth of Callum Von Moger. We've already worked out, we don't need the extra pump, we're big enough. June 9th, 1990, Callum Von Moger was born. Cal grew up on a small hobby farm in a small town of around 400 people in central Victoria, Australia. He had four brothers and one sister. With not much else to do, Cal had an affinity to birds and was always into sport, mostly playing soccer. I rarely saw Callum without uh, some sort of a, a bird on his, um, on his arm, he was perched on his arm, whether it was a chicken or a duck. At age 14, Callum's older brother, either Alex or Harley, took him to an old rusty warehouse gym, where his love of lifting weights blossomed. Circa 2007. In his final year of high school, Callum's father was involved in a major motorcycle accident, incurring a spinal injury, losing feeling in his legs, and thereby being wheelchair bound. Von Moga's mother, Ingrid, was rarely home, which meant Cal was forced to take on the role of father figure for his siblings. Cal was routinely entrusted with making them breakfast, taking them to school, and making them their dinner. June 2011. Cal competed in his first international bodybuilding competition, the Juniors Superbody WFF Universe in Austria. He would also take home the first place trophy. After winning a few competitions, Cal started landscaping, hated it, joined the army for a short time, and hated it. This made him realise that he wanted a retail job, specifically in a supplement store. After doing this for some time, he also worked as a canoe instructor, mountain bike instructor, worked in after school care, building, painting as a removalist, lifeguard, surf instructor, even though he never had before. He was basically bouncing around jobs because he couldn't find what he loved. This was until Classic Physique was introduced into bodybuilding competition. 20th of August 2013 On this date, Cal's life changed forever. A friend of his, an amateur YouTube creator, asked him if he could film him for a video, to which Cal thankfully agreed. At this moment in time, Callum was an unknown bodybuilder from Australia. Now, he was a viral sensation, and Miguel told him that he needed to create a social media presence, and fast. Luckily, he would do exactly that, 
as well as continuing to focus on bodybuilding. You know, I was working my ass off and uh, it was during this time I met a guy and he's a videographer and he is a supplement owner. Really great creative content. Uh, he made YouTube videos and he made a little, he's like, Cal, I just want to kind of capture a little bit of your journey and put on, on the internet, on YouTube. We did one workout together and then he visualized this kind of this like an idea of a, a motivational video. So we put it together and it went completely viral. He's like, Callum, you've got to make an Instagram, a Facebook account because you're going to get a lot of followers. You know, he told me, he goes, Callum, it's going to flip your life upside down. 2014. Callum would win the WFF Mr. Universe in South Korea, which earned him his WFF and NABBA Pro card. Entry number 106 from Australia, Karun Van Mogger. Mr. Universe, Callum Von Mogger. Congratulations. Two thousand and fifteen. Callum's achievements would be twofold, as he would win the WFF European Pro in France, as well as the WFF Pro European Championship in Italy. Two thousand and sixteen. Callum would choose to direct his attention towards a classic physique division, which was now gaining momentum. This proved to be a positive move for Callum, as he would then win the NPC Iron Games Championships in California. This win was documented in a full-length YouTube vlog, in which Cal was in fine form, splashing his little piggies in a pool while in the pull-up position. <laughs> Calling out Artemis Dolgan. Artemis Dolgan? I mean, Artemis Dishbank? Artemis Dolgan? Playing video games, calling kids Chapstick. Oh, you're right next to me. All right, Chapstick, let's fucking get him. And of course, looking absolutely peeled. It seemed like nothing could bring Cal down. May 12th, 2017. Generation Iron 2, directed by Vlad Yudin, follows several bodybuilders as they struggle to find success in a competitive industry. Callum is one of those bodybuilders. It's a big job actually generating content each day. I have to be careful with what I say and what I do. This edition, which has a similar premise to that of its namesake, addresses the different issues current influencers must face if they are to be successful in the social media landscape. June 28th, 2017. It was on this date that a pattern of reckless behavior started to develop with Callum. He uploaded a video titled, I jumped off a roof, do not do this at home, in which he, yes, you guessed it, jumped off a roof into a pool. It seemed quite insignificant at the time, albeit something that belongs on a jackass film. Yet, this was the first documented example of Cal taking unnecessary risks, which would prove important later. <laughs> <laughs> November 2017. Callum tore his bicep while barbell curling 140 kilograms in Gold's Gym Venice with classic physique competitor Chris Bumstead for a social media stunt. Feel that? No, you good? Are you good? Pray. Catch you later. Pray. 2018. Bigger. Directed by George Gallo. Follows the grandfathers of fitness, Joe and Ben Weeder, as they build their empire despite anti Semitism and extreme poverty. Cullen plays the key role of Arnold Schwarzenegger, the person he had been compared to during his rise to fame. My name is Joe Weeder. How would you like to be the face of bodybuilding? I am training you to be the best in the world. This film is that of which Von Moga is most widely known and recognized from. This was his first mainstream movie gig, and it was a very big deal. April 2018. Callum tore his quadricep tendon off the bone, as well as re-tearing his bicep while rock climbing. These injuries, in conjunction with blood clots being found, 
resulted in Cal requiring surgery immediately. Due to the significance of these injuries and the extensive recovery period, it would be months before Callum could return to the gym and continue doing what he loves. He was confined to a single room for most of this period and, as he said, the idle mind is the devil's playground. Yeah, I know. It's, don't don't it's, bring it down. It's, it's, it's right. yeah, I know. It's just my, it's my head. It's like, okay, it'll, yeah. 2019. Despite his shortcomings in the years prior, Cal was the king of comebacks. Despite his bodybuilding frame, he managed to land a modeling campaign with Gucci, becoming the first bodybuilder to accomplish such a feat. Two thousand and nineteen continued. Unbroken, directed by Vlad Yudin, follows Callum as he was forced to reassess his bodybuilding path and find a way to fight back up to the top after numerous injuries and controversies. Man, I heard wait, wait, you ghosted and blocked a girl you have a baby do within a week. Hey, there you go. Dude, you, you gotta get out of here, bro. Who are you? Then, on December twenty third, two thousand and nineteen, Nicole Segura falls pregnant with Callum's son. Kairos. Um, yeah, I um, have a child with Callum Von Moger. He has a son. His name is Kairos. And um... due to only dating Nicole for a short time, Callum did not originally want to be part of the child's life. I won't expand on this point further, as this is Callum's business. Callum would, however, warm to the idea of having a son in the future, and his life was changed for the better. More on this later. I'll tell you now that I'm a father, so I have a son, um, and um, he's going to have great child support and I'm going to be there for as much as, as I can be for him as a father. So that's all that re is really important in this whole situation is that, yep, yeah, I'm a dad and i got a kid and um, I'm looking forward to raising him. 2020. Callum receives first place in the NPC Classic Physique Universe in South Carolina, where he would win his IFBB Pro Card. This was of course a massive achievement after already attaining his WFF NABBA Pro Card in 2014, after winning the WFF Miss Universe in South Korea. Mr. Universe, Callum Von Moga, congratulations. April 12th, 2021. Baz, Cal's mate, and Phil Neck Lizard Pet dies at four years of age, despite his 14 to 15 year life expectancy, most likely due to their long voyage when Cal moved. Boy, Baz, you want to fly the drone? Yeah, sweet. Is he bailing? He's bailing. He's off. Catch you next time, Baz. <laughs> See you, Baz. Be a father. Father, yeah. My first pig dog. April 30th, 2021 probably the second or third worst day in Cal's life so far. Cal's best mate and dog, Rex the Bull, unfortunately dies by choking on a chip while Cal's out of the house. Callum was obviously devastated at the loss. He wrote, he was the best companion, my best friend. He came into my life when I needed him most, bringing about happiness, joy, and a renewed purpose. He was the only one that had the power to heal a broken heart to mend a torn spirit. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't train. Um, yeah, this, this, this next thing that I'm gonna tell you um, has completely destroyed me. You know, falling off the cliff was one thing, completely screwing up my, my bodybuilding, you know, life and everything, tearing my quad and being disabled for a year was hard enough. And it was right around that time. Anyway, Rex died, he passed. I lost Rex in a freak accident. Coach Greg, and in today's video, Callan Von Monger is fighting for his life in ICU after jumping through a second floor window. May 6th, 2022. Callan would fall from a two story window, injuring his spine, undergoing surgery, and was placed in an induced coma. Police were called to reports of a man experiencing a mental health episode at around 8 a.m. Nearby construction workers said that they heard glass smashing, yelling and screaming before multiple police cars and ambulances arrived. As stated, Cal would undergo surgery in his spine and spend 11 days in Melbourne's Alfred Hospital. After the incident, Callum sent out an emotional post on social media 
writing. Everyone has a past. We've all been through hard times. I admit, I messed up bad many times. But I don't care about dwelling on negative thoughts of the past. All I care about is that I learn from my mistakes and become a better person. The positive achievements I've done in my life far outweigh the muck-ups I've had along the way. All I can ask is for your forgiveness so I can keep moving forward on the right path again. This is a really tragic story to see where this guy was in his life, not even a year ago or two years ago, and to see where it's taken him because of just some stupid injuries in the gym, which led to his downfall. You catching this? Yeah. August, 2022. A video of Callum's younger brother, Ed Von Moga went viral after he was filmed damaging an older couple's vehicle in what seemed to be a drug-fueled state. Ed was seen attempting to smash the driver's side window with a boomerang before doing the same to their wing mirror. This unfortunate and negative incident would be foreshadowing for something that was to happen later. November 16th, 2022. Bodybuilder Callum Van Moga has avoided a conviction over a road rage clash in Altona North. Von Moga pleads guilty to criminal damage charges over an altercation following a car accident in Melbourne's Altona North. After causing damage to the other driver's vehicle, Von Moga stabbed the victim's car tire. He also pled guilty to criminal damage over an earlier incident where he left the scene after an accident without providing his details to the other driver. Police would also locate several weapons in Cal's vehicle, including brass knuckles, a tomahawk, and a hunting knife. In a moment of self-reflection, in an interview with his now sponsor, Bucked Up, Cal would note at this moment in time, he realized he'd lost his way. It was in those moments that I was really looking at myself thinking, what, what are you doing to yourself? What are you doing with your life? Like, this isn't Callum. That was the realization where I'd lost my way. Like I had like all these internal things which I didn't want to, you know, like display or show any weakness. So I unfortunately, you know, I picked up, I started like trying to numb myself and suppress it with like, you know, going out or drinking or partying and stuff. And, um, you know, it, it, and I didn't even see like that I was kind of like drifting down this wrong path and started spiraling and then it got to a point where I just wasn't, you know, in control. January, 2023. Callum releases a video titled, Let Me Explain, in which he shares his feelings regarding the ups and downs he had faced over the years. His habits, his depression, his injuries, all of it. In his video description, he wrote, As I look back, anxiety and depression took over, and I felt as if I lost all control. I want to move forward and leave 2022 behind. I want to focus on positivity and balance in my life, physical, mental, and spiritual. To my supporters, thank you, truly. Thank you for being there through my lowest moments and I'm looking forward to reconnecting with you all. As I said, in this video, he thanked his dedicated fans and apologized for his absence. And uh, I wanna uh, express my gratitude to each of you who have reached out and uh, in, in times where I wasn't doing so well um, and I was struggling and you know, I apologize for my absence and uh, Mike, a huge multi-agency search was launched today. That's because 28-year-old Edward Von Moga hasn't been seen since Thursday. March 2nd, 2023. Edward Von Moga, Callum's younger brother, was reported missing. This just months after the aforementioned incident. Police found his truck on Friday afternoon on Elamata Road in Anglesey. Yesterday, his vehicle was found more than 30 kilometres away, parked on Ellamatta Road at Anglesey. Cal wrote, I was excited to meet you all at the Arnold, but during that same time, I was going through the toughest moment in my life. On the day I flew out to Ohio, I found out my brother was missing. Every second of the day, my mind was elsewhere, thinking about Eddie. I know I was physically there, but mentally not present. I want to apologise to those who approached me, and sadly, I had to turn away because I was too emotional. Thank you everyone for the love and support during this time. This video is dedicated to my brother Edward Von Moga. Working with Bucked Up is a, is a blessing that I've been able to have to come back and work with 
you know, this, this wonderful supplement company who have such a good family orientated business. Mid-2023, Cal moved back to the States where he made a comeback to social media. This allowed him to gain sponsorship from Young LA and Bucked Up. In a video titled Long Time No See, Life Update, Cal shares his vulnerabilities yet seems mentally stronger despite all the adversity he has faced. Now 33 years of age, Cal talks about many setbacks he has faced today. Losing his brother Eddie, finding his place in the world, self-confidence and acceptance, and his future. His true followers, fans, and supporters will notice the words on his t-shirt during this video, those being mad desire. This is what inspired me to make this video. Callum's journey has come full circle. He has now embraced his humble beginnings in which he was filmed for the motivational video, which would lead to his eventual success. I don't really know where I want to go with this. I'll continue to train and do some shows and I hope one day that all this will bring me somewhere or open up some sort of pathway or pay off and, and lead me to, to something new and exciting. But I don't know yet. That's still a mystery to me. Callum, if for any reason you are watching this, I wish you all the best for your future endeavours, from one Aussie to another. This has been the rise, fall and rebirth of Callum Von Moger. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my first video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. That said, it took many, many hours to put this video together. If you would, please consider subscribing for my next video. Thanks so much.